not that long ago, the public requested that we have more in a la carte version of television channel, and we started breaking the cable TV foothold on television. The result was streaming services, started with a few, like Netflix and Amazon Prime, and now there seems to be a new one coming up every other week, from Disney Plus to DC Universe to Warner Brothers HBO Max to whatever NBC Universal is doing. Here at the Fanatarium, we will be breaking down these streaming services, some free, some paid, some in between. Have you never heard of some of them? When we're done with all these episodes, you'll be able to decide which ones you like, which ones you don't, and if there's a hidden gem out there that you can try. Hopefully, saving you some money, or at least using it more wisely. Welcome to the Fanatarium. Pluto TV. It's a very interesting streaming service. Most of the streaming services that exist specialize in on-demand content, not so much in the Viacom-owned Pluto TV, which replicates traditional cable TV menu, looks like television, but with specialized channels serving up non-stop Doctor Who, anti Girl Show the Hills, uh, new CBS is on there, but it's not a standard way of watching TV. It's like uh, web episodes that they just put on there, and it shifts all the time. One of the great things I love about Pluto TV is, for example, during Celebration, they had all the Star Wars live streaming on there. They used to have a uh, Collider's um, podcast on there. They had lots of interesting things on there. That's Tradition Network. CNN's on there. Fox Sports is on there. CBS is on there. MSNBC is on there. They have classic cartoons. They have anime. And there's hundreds of channels. And they switch all the time. Um, it, it's kind of slightly an, anemic when it comes to on-demand movies and TVs, but they do exist as well. Basically, if you're tired of decision fatigue or of wasting an hour scrolling through Netflix before you can actually watch anything, Pluto TV is pretty good. And right now, Pluto TV has uh, quite a few options. So if you've never heard of Pluto TV, it's owned by Viacom. It started in 2013, six years ago, and it's available on 14 platforms. It's on Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, Roku, PlayStation consoles, and basically if apps are there, it's there. It started off as an experiment with some uh, funding from Viacom, of course, which Viacom owns um, CBS and owns uh, Paramount and so on. And there's also other channels on there, like, for example, there's uh, Pluto TV Latino, so you can get there. It's also on British TV. It's, uh, you know, straight, there's a streaming network they now have on Comcast, Xfinity's cable boxes. And... Um, interesting thing about Pluto TV is Viacom bought them officially this year, January 2019, for $340 million. The deal was completed in March. Viacom plans for Pluto TV to become more licensed content from Viacom. There's lots of stuff from Viacom. Expansion from into Latin America, availability on smart TVs and pay subscriptions, and Viacom announced plans to launch Pluto TV worldwide, which is great. So this is one that's available worldwide. May 1st, Viacom introduced free versions of several of its cable outlets on Pluto TV, including content from Paramount Pictures, BET, Comedy Central, Logo, Nickelodeon, including Nick Jr. and Nick Rewind, and MTV. Among those channels is Revival Spike. Surprise! Which, of course, folded a bit ago. The free channels do not match the feeds you see by cable and satellite subscribers. The online versions focus primarily on archival content in the series that Pluto TV acquired from other providers. In July, Pluto TV added a channel dedicated to Door the Explorer. On July 23rd, it added Totally Turtles, a channel dedicated to just the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all day, every day. And on July 30th, it launched three MTV music video channels. Yep, MTV doing music. <gasps> and it's on a TV thing. Currently, they have lots of partners. Asylum's on there, BBC Studios, Big Guy Conference, Bloomberg Television, C CBSN, Cheddar News, Channel 5 in the UK, CNET, CNN, Complex, Con TV, let me try Star Dash Radio, DHX Media, Eleven Sports Networks, uh, Network Fox Sports, Fremantle Geek and Sundry, Glory and Kickboxing, IGN, Kick Feature Syndicate, Hulu, Impact Wrestling, Lucha Libre, AAA Worldwide, Major League Soccer, MGM, Monster Cat, Nerdist, Newsmax TV, NASA TV, NBC News, People Magazine, RT, Shout Factory, Sky News, Stadium, Nelvana, Weather Nation TV, and Young Turks, and it's supported almost everywhere. Now, if you don't want to watch TV on it. They do have on-demand stuff. Currently, here are some of the stuff they have on on-demand. The Terminator, American Beauty, Rango, Sahara, Peacemaker, Golden Child, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. They have TV series like Dr. Bounty Hunter, Unsolved Mysteries, Cold Case Files, New Detectives, Forensic Science, uh, movies like Down to Earth, uh, Chef, Catch and Release, Legend of the Fall, Black, uh, Black Snake Moan, and, um, and uh, Alfie, Heartbreakers. That's one I actually really love. Heartbreakers, uh, The Dictator, Discovery Channel shows are on there, like Amish Mafia. I guess that does exist. Even though Cake Boss is on there. They actually have quite a few. Oh, I see Four Feathers on here from uh, with the, the Heath Ledger one and K-19, Sahara. 
There's a lot of stuff on here. Clue. Clue's on there. If you want to watch Clue, it's on Pluto TV. And it's free. It's a free app. It runs just like a TV. Um, it's not the most stable app. Sometimes it, it uh, crashes quite a bit on my uh, my Fire Stick, but it has a lot of stuff. And the movie thing's even there. All you guys do is link it, and you can watch TV. This is where I get pretty much all my live TV now if I need to get anything. And it has movies and TV shows, and it's a pretty good selection. And now that Viacom owns it, I expect to have a lot more of Viacom's offerings available. And Viacom, in case you forget, we do have our um, our other uh, show where we talk about more of Viacom does. But this summary, they own CBS, um, Paramount Pictures, Nickelodeon, so on. That's Viacom. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. So this is kind of like the free version of what they have with CBS All Access. So there's a lot of potential with it. Check it out. It's available almost everywhere, and this is one of my favorite ones. I've actually used it for quite a while, and the fact that it's free and has TV, lecture coverage, watch it there, has some sports, and you never know what's going to be there from time after time. I like watching it during, like, for example, uh, during E3, lots of E3 content every IGN, or Nerdist, uh, during Comic-Con, lots of stuff there, and it's a great way to cover conventions. It's a fun one. If you haven't checked it out, check out Pluto TV. It's free, and it's an app available on pretty much all... 